up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so. Hi guys, it's a different day. Um, it's third Friday. Friday? It's Friday. Um, if you notice, I don't have no jewelry on. I feel like I look so bland without jewelry. Um, but besides the point. We had a surgery pre-test today. I failed it. I sure did. But, but, every time I fail, y'all, I always fail with the simplest part. The simplest part. You know what I did? I forgot to tie my surgery gown. I did everything else. I got all the, all the hard parts. I unpacked the bowls. I knew how to drape it correctly. I knew how to clamp it right. And your girl forgot to tie her surgery gown. It's not really a fail though because i get to go back i get to repractice and since i have surgery first guys it's okay because what that means is i get another chance to redo it again to make sure that when it's time for my surgery the following week i'm able to prep and scrub and correct for the most part i'm really just going to be in the house just vibing out maybe clean up my apartment a little bit and start studying later tonight actually for the rest of the day i might not do nothing i'll start studying tomorrow to be honest because i just need a this week has been a lot y'all it's been a lot and i just need a break so I think I'm gonna just take that break and it's just gonna be that today. Good morning guys. Um, I look crazy, but that's because I'm getting ready. Um, and I'm letting my face wash dry. But regardless, besides the point, I'm currently getting ready to go to a solo date. And a solo date that I'm doing, I'm going to a pottery class. So I'm gonna take lots of clips. I'm gonna bring my tripod and everything. Um, and then after that, I'm just gonna go study because I still have to study. That hasn't changed, but I'm excited to go to this because I've been having like a pottery wheel class on my like bucket list for a very long time. So I said, why not make this a solo date with myself? Just kind of getting comfortable with myself and going out by myself. And again, 2024 is about me. So I'm going to go in and just have a good time. So I'll come back when I actually look decent and not crazy like this. <laughs> okay y'all so my pottery class is over um and i want to say 10 out of mother freaking 10 y'all i enjoyed it one of my goals one of the things i want to do this year is be in my creativity bag and i love art love drawing love painting that's my jam so doing the pottery class is just like another check off my list taking the pottery class i only paid 35 dollars for it it was really cheap the initial ticket was like 35 dollars, and then if you make a piece that you like and you want to glaze that piece or fire it it's an additional 20 bucks so all in all i spent like 55 bucks that was nothing like i really enjoyed the class it was very intimate it was only me two other really young girls they might have been like 12 or 13 and the instructor so i was chatting the instructor up and the other younger girls they were seeming like they were a little bit on the shyer side which was fine so i didn't really talk to them too much but i did talk to the um to like the instructor and she was super nice super sweet i asked her all kinds of questions so i'm like girl my thing is lopsided it's falling off and she was like here let me show you what you're doing wrong and she was just very helpful painting fun ceramics is a very great place to go in blacksburg if nobody's been so now i'm about to get some subway that's behind me and that's gonna be like my lunch and then i'm going to panera to get some studying in for the rest of the day Put all my time committing crimes to get closer while at my nana house i pay the couch staring at a seat trying not let me just round three round three is this three yeah <laughs> round three <laughs> ding 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 looking at my feelings 
It's T minus mm, four days, I think. Am I bad at math? Mm. Um, I'm surgeon first. I think I already said that in this video, but yeah. So I'm currently watching a spay. <laughs> um, per my school, they gave us like a 30 minute video, and since I'm left handed, I'm watching the left handed spay. Clutie's right here, y'all sitting there chilling with me. A little update on how I'm feeling with surgery. I'm excitedly nervous. Like my dad would usually say like cautiously optimistic. Like that's kind of how I'm feeling. Like I'm excited, but I'm scared because I'm like, I gotta do everything right. I can't, mm -mm. I can't mess it up. I wasn't gonna say that, but I can't mess it up because it's like, I gotta be sterile. I have to make sure I know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna watch this video probably like four or five times within the next three days, four days. Um maybe i'll even wake up at 4 a.m the day of my surgery and watch it again that's how much i need to be on my peace and cues hope so because she need i feel like she deserves that after what the way he got a girl already i have surgery in two days literally two days it's tuesday i have surgery on thursday and really it's technically wednesday because it's nighttime on tuesday one day <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's pre-surgery day. Burr, 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 burr. We are in scrubs. Um, we have our stethoscope and our stethoscope case, which I'm actually gonna take this off. I was just taking pictures, you know, trying to be cute. I'm in a really good mood, you know. Every time I don't have to wake up at 8 a.m., I'm in a great mood. It's pre-surgery day, and what that means is today uh, we are doing pre-surgery prep for our puppies that will be spayed tomorrow um i again am surgeon if i didn't say that already three times because i'm still in disbelief y'all that i'm surgeon like i'm really about to be like sterile hands deep in a uterus and an ovary and clamp and clamping it and doing miller knot sutures ah, mm, don't get me started doing exams today we're doing uh what else are we doing today we're doing exams we're doing pre-surgery blood work we are getting history from our owners um in the afternoon today so i bought my lunch i bought everything that i needed and yeah guys i don't know how i feel i'm nervous like tomorrow is really the big day at 7 a.m baby i'm about to be prepping my dog to go in her in her uterus i was practicing last night uh on my suturing and stuff i got a glove and i filled it up with water and i was just practicing my miller knot sutures and snipping it off to make sure i didn't have any leaks um, and I didn't have any leaks. My glove is successfully amputated. So I'll put a video of that over top of this so you can see what I'm talking about. Because you can be like, I successfully amputated my glove. Yeah, you'll see. I'm going to show y'all um, probably later tonight. Really quick, I want to show you guys my ligation sutures. So when I tell y'all I amputated my glove, why is this like? I amputated my glove. See? Yeah, it's still sliding, but whatever. And that's how you know, like, these are good ligation sutures because there's no leaks Pody, do you have anything to say because mommy has her first surgery today oh nothing no no encouraging words of good luck good morning y'all it's the day of surgery or whatever and I'm currently eating my breakfast that Jasmine made me because I didn't have time to cook and she already had leftover pancakes. So she made me some turkey bacon. Um, I've heard you're supposed to eat breakfast before surgery because the OR can really get to you like in terms of like stress, anxiety, the smells, the pheromones, the lack of food in your stomach. It gives pass out and your girl's not passing out. It's not giving pass out. A surgeon, no, it doesn't give that for me. 
So we're gonna make sure we eat breakfast, even though like y'all, I'm really not hungry. I don't eat breakfast usually. So like me eating this is like, <clears throat> like my body's like, I don't not want this. We have to have everything prepped by 7.15. And it's currently, I think it's 6.36. <laughs> And it's, I mean, if you guys know me, y'all know I'm always late. Well, you guys know me. Y'all know I'm always late. I'm never on time. I ain't wake up. I usually don't wake up on time. I usually sleep. Get my Z's in. Your girl's up. She's ready. How do I feel? I feel... I don't know. I mean, I was just... I was just watching a video on the spay again. Like, just watching what I'm supposed to do. Making sure I know where to put my clamps. Making sure I know who's suturing. Well, obviously, I'm suturing. Making sure um, I know what my assistant surgeon is supposed to be doing. I'm feeling okay. I'm nervous. But I feel like I know more than I think I do. When I get stressed, I'm just, it's just give and take a deep breath. Because I'm an overthinker. I'm an overthink everything I'm doing. Even if I have to let out a big sigh. It'll be better than me just keeping it all pent up. Your girl has officially done her first spay, y'all. I'm finally done my first spay. Um, how do I feel, y'all? Drained as hell. Okay, I'm just drained. I'm tired stressed out a little bit i think it's just because my body is still releasing catecholamines or uh what's the other one start with a c child i can't remember cortisol my brain is just y'all my brain is fried okay fried i made this whole cute little poster board let me show y'all my poster board i made this poster board sorry i just forget how small my car is it says my first ovarian hysterectomy with all my instructions on it it's front and back by the way guys and on the back I put, you did it, it's giving doctor. And I had it posted up in the room. I did not use that one bit. I was just so stressed, like, my body was just like. <laughs> like literally, I'm on my last brain cell. I'm about to go to Nina's, where Jasmine is also, to see her daughter Layla. My Lebe is in town, so I'm gonna go see her. Um, I saw her yesterday, but I gotta see her again. And plus, that's the best way for me to de-stress is be auntie. Let's go do it. Y'all, this, this, excuse my French, but this shit is done. <laughs> like, I really was a surgeon. It's bright. It's getting, it's getting a little bright now. It's getting a little bright. Um, I was surgeon. Now, the next time I go, I'm going to be anesthetist. I'm a little nervous about that, but I don't go again till February 27th, so... The next countdown begins, baby. So I gotta come back today at eight o'clock, check on my dog, post-op, feed her dinner, and make sure that she is still looking mwah chef's kiss and feeling mwah chef's kiss. Um, but yeah, my girl is still alive. My girl is, she is alive. I can't say her name, but my girl is alive, okay? Me on the other hand, I am not. <laughs> I am dead in my, in my mind. My mind is gone. Okay, y'all, so it is 7 a.m. I'm a little late per usual again uh back to normal i'm going now to go discharge my dog um i'm very excited to check on her you know see how she's doing today post op and yeah like my girl is still doing good apparently one of my group mates is walking her right now so she's still doing great still thriving that's the most important part um and yeah, y'all, so I'm about to go in here, prepare her for discharge. She, she goes home today to go sleep at her mommy again and go back to her family. So bittersweet, happy that she's going home. Sad because I love her so much, I wanna keep her. But she's really great, guys. So I will be back to chime in later and I'll give a full debrief about how this whole thing went down a little later today. It's just been super busy. <laughs> so yeah. Good morning, y'all. If I sound crazy, it's cause I'm getting sick. I have my water and my Stanley. Yeah, so I'm making tea right now. And then when I'm not feeling sick, I sound a lot better. But I'm just not getting sick. It just started literally yesterday. And my nose is not stuffy. The only problem I have is <clears throat> my throat is like a little scratchy. And I have some mucus, so I don't know what's going on, y'all. 
but we about to beat it early because I've been taking a shitload of medicine. So we're gonna be fine. I realized I never gave y'all my debrief about my surgery. So I'm throwing it in there now while I'm editing that the video that I have to post in less than two hours. So excuse my voice, y'all. I sound really bad, but um, my surgery was well. Um, I did have, you know, a little small dog. She wasn't big. She was like 20 pounds, if that. And, you know, I was gowned and gloved. Everything was good. I was, you know, doing my surgery. And when I actually made my incision, I think, like, when I'm actually cutting into the, like, the body wall, I'm realizing that I've never seen a linea alba, like, at least to the point where I remember. And the linea alba is basically like this shiny line that connects all the muscles together right and it's very strong it's very durable so if you cut it it heals back relatively easy um we also have some kind of linear alba in our body because it's where like you know when you have abs you can see that real sharp demarcation that's kind of like the linear alba for dogs it might be the same i don't know i'm not a human doctor so <clears throat> if a human doctor is watching me you can clarify in my comments because i don't know so animals have a linear alba and I cut through that and you're supposed to like, you know, when you cut it, you're supposed to tint it up with some pair, with some forceps and then just make a stab incision so that way you're not stabbing any organs, but you're gonna stab with your blade upward. Weird, but it works really well. So you don't stab any organs because as soon as you cut open that linea alba, there go the guts, okay? The guts are just there. So you don't wanna just like stab down because you don't know if you stab in jejunum, which is a part of the intestines. You don't know if you stab in spleen. You don't know if you're stabbing omentum. I don't know, you just don't know what you're stabbing. So you wanna, you know, tense it upward and stuff. Once you do that, there go the guts, right? So now I'm like fingers deep in this dog's guts, trying to find the ovary. Um, this is where you, the spay hook comes in and I'm just like kind of tracing with my spay hook down the body wall to find it. Um, I didn't find it the first couple times. Like the first time I think I pulled jejunum, which is part, like I said, part of the intestines. Second time your girl pulled up some omentum. I'm like, this is not the ovary. The third time I feel some tension, but I'm like, I don't know. And really we're looking for tension, right? So I'm like, uh it's tension but this don't look like the ovary because i mean i think in my head i thought it was gonna be like bright vivid visual hell no i pulled it i called one of my doctors over to ask to make sure i had what i thought i had and she was like actually no like you have the ovary it's right there i said oh <laughs> well, i was like is that that's it like that's what it looks like she was like yeah i think a lot of us as surgeon we were expecting to see a really well demarcated ovary and it wasn't like it was just it looked like intestine to me it was weird okay it was very strange but i pulled it up i did my technique i clamped i clamped i sutured 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 tied off slicey 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 stabby 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 cutty 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 i did that and then you know everything was fine i put it back into the gutter wall which is back where it was originally went to the other side did the same thing went to the body the body of the uterus and did the same thing and then i check in the pocket and i'm like mm. It's a little bit more bloody than I would like. I had some small mini tears um, from when I was tearing a suspensory ligament. And apparently that's common. Um, I freaked out. I didn't really freak out. But the doctor that I had, um, she was amazing. She really kept me calm. She kept me sane. If it wasn't for her, I probably would have been freaking out. Um, and truthfully, we got it all together. Like, we just had to do some more suturing. And it wasn't like a really big, like, gushy, gushy tear. It was like little baby dot dotted tears. So we just did more ligations. Oh, just dropped over my cup. We just did more ligations and everything was fine. Everything stopped bleeding and mm, I'm about to say her name again. I was I really be struggling to not say this dog's name because I'm just so used to saying her name. Um, but she ended up being fine. So, you know, the next day we check on her, she's straight, she looks good. Even post op after she took a minute to extubate, she was a little um we were watching her temperature because she's a smaller dog. Smaller dogs don't really regulate their temperatures well when they're under anesthesia. So we had like two bear huggers on my girl, which are the like warming systems on her. And, you know, eventually she was on her side. She was still sleeping. And then somebody came over and was like, you should probably turn her sternal, like face, put her on her stomach because I think she's just getting her comfortable Z's and she just sleep. Like, I think she's ready to be extubated, but she just doesn't want to get up. So we flip her on her stomach. When I tell you that dog popped up so quick, I was like, really she was i thought she was just taking a long time to extubate no she was just sleep yeah we put her on her stomach she popped up we were able to extubate her and um we what else did we do <clears throat> we extubated her 
And she was ready to go outside. Like, she was ready to walk. She was running. I'm like, girl, you just had the surgery. We just did incisions. You can't be running. She was trying to run around with the other dogs. She was having a great time. Super sweet dog. Like, I'm telling y'all, she was awesome. To the point where I want to keep her. She was that great. Um, and, yeah, uh, we left her. We checked on her um, again at 8 o'clock. I came back and checked on her. Still doing good. Uh, she didn't really want to eat, and I was kind of concerned about that, too. Um, but again, she probably was just feeling really yucky because when we came back the following day to discharge her, she ate, she was ready to eat. We gave her her medicine, her, um, her pain meds and a meatball of food. She crushed it. She ate it. She was like, yeah, is there more? So I'm like, good. I'm glad to know my girl is still doing fine. Um, I see her this week actually on Tuesday to take out her sutures. So, you know, I think if there was a problem, we would have heard something by now. So I'm assuming she's doing awesome at home. Um, I'm just excited to see her decision still looks good and she looks great. And if she does, it's just good to just see my girl back and happy and not, uh, I was going to say not a bitch, but literally not a bitch because she doesn't have her uterus anymore. She is no longer a unspayed female doll. My girl is a spay baby. That's a debrief on that. It took me a minute to do that because I low-key realized I was watching this video like I did not ever give a debrief. Hi guys, um, I'm about to go snow tubing. So I got my gear on. I got my snow pants and my boots and my coats. Um, I gotta find my gloves because I'm oh they're over here. Yeah, I look really pretty. I'm eating. Mm-hmm. I'm scared, y'all. Is that Jackie's? Huh? Is that Jackie's? Can I kiss her? Y'all almost died. I swear to God. Y'all, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized! <laughs> my sympathetic nervous system, y'all, took, took over. So, I'm going down again for my third time, y'all. He was due first of I'm desensitized every time I go down. So, hopefully, if I go down again, I'm not screaming like I was in the last couple videos. Okay, we're going up again. We're doing it again. Jasmine. Hi guys, Mariah. Say hi. hi. Jackson seen her back there. This is our last round of tubing. Then we're leaving because our spot is over. So y'all, this is my last round. And I'm getting better every time. So I feel like this is working well. We're, yeah, we're all going together, guys. Are you ready? Jazz was teaching me how to make cast iron skillet pizzas. Yeah. So we got the pepperoni, the cheese, the sauce. And here's my pizza. We're about to put it in the oven. And then Jasmine's going to make her pizza. This is my pizza put out the oven. And Jasmine is making her pizza now. It's smoky in here. But look at it, y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it's cow lab day. I'm back in these coveralls that I hate so much. Okay, so we just left Cow Lab. I just did palpations. And I left with trying to not be covered in the most shit possible. Um, I feel like I was successful. Being as though I don't really have anything on my coveralls. Good morning, guys. So I'm currently walking to my car. But before I... Well, I don't know. Before I go to school, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. So, bye. I've been broke so many times.